What's up everyone? I'm Justin, co-founder, CEO of Mona, back at it again with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to bring your art from Gravity Sketch into our Unity templates using the OBJ export feature in Gravity Sketch. It's going to be super easy, super quick, so let's dive right in. Here's a uh, very quick <laughs> time lapse uh, sped up of some gravity sketching that I'm doing here. Just throwing together a super simple, super quick scene just to get us to the point where uh, we're gonna export our sculpture from Gravity Sketch. So once you're done creating your uh, beautiful model here, you're just gonna go to the Gravity Sketch menu and you're gonna select OBJ. You wanna make sure meters are selected and you can go ahead and click export. You can name your space and click the check mark and it's gonna export it to the cloud for you or to your local space, wherever you have it saved. I'm saving mine to the cloud. All right, back in landing pad, gravity sketch landing pad, you're gonna find your OBJ export file right in here. See, I've named mine monaspace.obj. So you're gonna click there. It'll give you some info about it. And what we're gonna do is download. And now I'm just going to extract that, uh, the contents of that zip file, which are the .obj and .mtl. I'm gonna choose the folder to extract to, select folder and extract. All right, so we're back in Unity now where we're in our assets, add your art here folder. So we're gonna go find wherever we saved that .obj and .mtl file, select them both, and we're just gonna drag and drop both of them into the project window at the same time. So that's gonna import those. And now all you have to do is select your model, drag and drop onto scene objects, and it's gonna drop it right into the scene for you. And it's gonna include all of the colors and that data that's saved to that .mtl file. I think uh, I may have scaled the space down a little bit too much inside of Gravity Sketch, so I'm just going to scale it up here. Like so. Okay, and look at that. One thing that um, is not going to be created automatically when you bring your models in, you'll notice if you select any of these meshes inside that space you created in Gravity Sketch, on these meshes you'll see there are no collider objects. So everything that you make in Gravity Sketch, your avatar is actually going to run right through. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to add a component, Mesh Collider, and it's going to automatically add a Mesh Collider for the avatar to interact with. So I'm just gonna do that for all of these. You can actually select them all, add mesh collider. And it's gonna add a mesh collider for all of these objects. You'll see right there. Now your avatar will actually be able to run and jump onto the objects that you created in Gravity Sketch. So now I'm gonna save, and then I'm going to click on the space prefab, go over to overrides, click overrides, click apply all, and that's gonna save the changes that we made to the space prefab. I'm just gonna save one more time. And now we're gonna go to assets, build asset bundles, and that's gonna build the space asset bundle. Now we're gonna to navigate to mona.gallery slash playground and we're gonna navigate uh, within the Unity Project folder. We're gonna navigate to Assets, Streaming Assets, and we have Space right here. So I'm gonna click on Space, drag it into the browser that's gonna load up our space, and we're gonna drop right in. Here we go. And you'll see the avatar is now running jumping on top of this fun uh, geometry we made. Oh, I made those cubes a little too big. Oh, maybe I can jump up here though. Look at that, how cool is that? Oh, neato. So 
So there you have it, a pretty fast and easy way to get started creating a 3D space for Mona using Gravity Sketch and our Unity template. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the Discord.